Beauty and today I am going to take you on a tour of our lovely space. Um, so starting here is where we kind of have our cell rack which is kind of going on right now. Um, we usually just put miscellaneous items here or we'll put swimwear or something that's kind of specialty in this area. So right now we have some cute dresses in here. Um, mind you, one thing about retail, even if you like something that doesn't mean that your customers are going to like it. So like something like this, like I really love this dress, but it hasn't been selling that well. So we put it on this 20% off rack and hopefully we get some movement with that. Um, so that's basically what we have here. Um, since we are coming into the summer slash fall season, um, we do want to get rid of some of the stuff that we had in the spring. So that's why we also have this rack as well. So this is kind of like our display table. Um, here we just try, we try our best to pair items together. Um, so like this is a set, it's the top and the skirt. Um, so we just do something simple like that. We have all of our jewelry at our front table. So we do have some of our gift items, our jewelry, um, bath bombs, hair clips. Um, it's so funny because when we have first got these, we planned on using them for like t-shirts and things. But we find that it's better just to put smaller items on there. Um, we have our candles and our diffusers here. Um, so now we kind of have just like our really nice gold mirror, which kind of goes with our aesthetic in here. I actually got this big mirror for like $100 at Home Goods. So if you're looking for something that's really big and just really chic, I definitely would recommend going to Home Goods for some of your decor. Um, one of our mannequins and one of my favorite dresses on it. Um, so this rack here is our dress rack. So we keep most of our special occasion wear here. Um, I feel like a lot of people who shop with us, that's like the first thing that they always come here for is like a dress. Everyone always has somewhere to go. So we keep all of our dresses here that, you know, people would want to wear out to maybe like dinner or like a party or a wedding. So that's kind of the vibe we got going here. This dress has been selling so well. Um, I feel like it's very in season right now with the coral and the white. Um, and then this is also very transitional as well. We can wear this in the fall as well. And as a summer too. Mm -hmm. so that's that. Um, up here, we keep all of our hats. Um, so this is kind of like our hat display. We keep some of our hats here. Um, our store is kind of small, it's really long, but not that wide, so we don't have that much space to put everything. Um, so this top of our rack has been very helpful. Um, so we do use that as our display as well. And then if you come down here, we have literally almost everything you can think of on this rack. So we keep dresses, top, denim, um, skirts. This kind of is the section where it's like, cute casual wear that you would, you know, wear if you went out to brunch or like a date party or something like that. So this is kind of like the same deal. So I'm just going to show you guys some of my favorite pieces. Um, so this right here, love this. I love, love, love this top. It's kind of like a corset and then the back is like completely out and has the um, tie in the back. So that's pretty cute. Something else that I'm loving. Jeans look. 
So we switch this up pretty often, um, but right now we're going to have like the tops of the jeans. Our jeans are pretty long in length, so we do like to keep them um, just up a little bit so they're not touching the ground and getting dust on them. So here is our accessory wall. Um, honestly, it could look a thousand times better, but this is what we have in stock right now. Um, but we just keep all of our purses and some of our hats here. Um, usually we would keep all purses here, but now we have these hats, which is cool. Um, so these are all brackets that come with the glass. Fun fact, this actually came with our store. We did not have to install this or buy it, which was a big plus for us. Um, so yeah, we can always interchange this. Say if we wanted to put like gift items here, we could. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice section in the store as well. And then here is here is our beautiful bralette wall. Um, we basically keep almost every color of bralettes over here. Um, I feel like a bralette is just a summer staple. Like you have to have a bralette in your closet. Um, bralettes you literally go with anything. Um, so yeah, this is just our bralette wall. We have different styles. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Another fun fact, I've had a lot of people actually ask me like, are we selling this plant? We are not selling this plant just for pure decoration. Um, and then this nice little shelf over here we actually got from IKEA. We got this from IKEA and this is kind of like our little gift section. We got some lashes, skincare, dog toys, bath bombs. Everybody likes the back ones. And some really cute, inspiring cups. And also some candles and diffusers as well. Um, it's really good to put your social media somewhere so people can always find you. Um, so ours is scannable, of course, but I think it's really important to have something like that. Um, so now we're gonna come over here to our Reba Cash Wrap. Um, so we actually use Shopify for our system. Um, all you need is an iPad. This is extra, but honestly, I if, if you can't afford to get like the, the computer and the iPad, go with the iPad, you'd be completely fine. Um, but this just helps for um, other systems that we have as far as um, printing out labels. It's much easier to do it on a computer than it is to do it on the iPad. And then we also have our tap and chip reader here. Um, business cards, hand sanitizers, and then it's very important that you keep your return and exchange policy because you'll realize people will try to play you. <laughs> so keep that front and center. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> another fun fact. So our cash wrap is actually two shelves from Ikea that we built um, ourselves. And then we actually just put a panel board on top, but you didn't know that. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so we actually did not buy uh, already made um, cash wrap. We actually did make this, um, which was a big money saver because cash wraps are over a thousand dollars. Sorry about that. Um, and then our cute sign in the back, we actually got that custom made by somebody on Etsy. Um, I don't remember her name, but I will link it in the description box. So I feel like, oh, we paid like three, three to four hundred dollars for that, which wasn't um, bad. Come back here. Um, it's kind of messy, but that's not the point of this video. <laughs> um, so back here we just have our cash register. Um, this little drawer we got from Target, and we keep like hang tags and um, tagging guns here. Um, we have the Dymo label as our label printer. And then the Munbin uh, printer for our shipping label. Our, our shipping labels. So this is for our shipping labels. Um, our postcards that go in every order. Um, these are actually handmade by me on Canva. And I get them printed by Vista Print. I believe they are like what 50 for like 65 dollars so not that bad um, we keep all of our important mail here and then we also have our bags the medium size and the large size we keep a trash can down here and just a lot of other miscellaneous stuff that you may need 
pencil back here. We keep our bags ready to go. And then we also have our tissue paper, which is what we use to wrap our clothes in. Um, and then this small rack here we actually got from Ikea. Believe it or not, this is like 20 bucks. And I feel like it was so worth it. Um, so I would highly recommend, you know, something like this. Um, our whole aesthetic is kind of like gold, pink, white, black. So all of our hangers are white. And it just goes really well with the store. It looks really clean. Um, so that's kind of that. So here we keep all of our sunglasses. This is kind of a mess. But um, we keep all of our sunglasses here. Um, this mirror we got from Ikea. Both our sunglass stands we got from Amazon. Um, this actually is our jewelry for um, like necklaces and anklets and things like that. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of how this is displayed. We'll probably find something you know, better for us uh, later on, but I actually got this a really, really long time ago, and it was actually something I carried in my house, and <laughs> thought it looked better in the store. So, um, yeah, we'll probably change that eventually. And then down here is where we keep all of our shoes. Um, right now, we only have sandals, which is perfect for the summer, so that's pretty fine. Um, probably won't be getting any more sandals or shoes until the fall, so that there. So this is another one of our sale racks. Um, honestly, this is kind of our specialty section as well. We do keep a lot of styles, a lot of older women would probably like to wear. Um, where we're located, there are a lot of older people that live around our city. And um, even though that's not our biggest target market, we do get a lot of them that come to the store. So we try to cater to a little bit to everyone, everyone and sell things that they may like. Um, something like this dress, I feel like it's kind of versatile and you know people of all ages could wear something like this. This is our sandwich board that we actually got from Hobby Lobby and it was like 60, uh, no that's a lie, it was probably like 80 bucks. Um, but these are extremely expensive, if you know you know, um, so that was a great steal. And then um, these are all the mannequins that we got. I'm not even going to go into the price of the mannequins because you guys are going to be like WTF. So just know that mannequins are very, very expensive. And um, all of the decorations that we have in our window are from Home Goods. That is going to be my store. I don't know why I don't have a credit card there, but it's probably one. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what this looks like. So this is our lounge area. Um, these stickers on the wall, they weren't butterflies, but the butterflies kept falling off, so we had to take them down. Um, we had these two chairs I actually got from Amazon. Um, this table I actually got from Hobby Lobby a very, very long time ago. Had this in college, so that was good in here. Um, all these paintings, I honestly can't tell you where I got them from, but they look cute and they kind of have some old aesthetic. Um, and then we come to our dressing room, but before we get to the dressing room, gotta get into this mirror okay like mm -hmm. i love this mirror this mirror did come with the store um when you moved in and we decided to keep it um i feel like a lot of people who shop here like to look in the mirror so i'm really really happy that we have a huge mirror here um so if we come back into our dressing room um we just have one small dressing room we probably fit like two people in here and yeah this is kind of it these brackets we got from um, Ikea. So, if you're looking for some type of brackets, I would definitely recommend Ikea. They were like $3 a piece. Um, so this is our little get ghetto contraption <laughs> of a door for our dressing room. But this is actually a shower curtain. And my grandfather actually put in this rod here, so that is pretty nice with him. But yeah, so we just go with the theme. It's really cute and printed. I really like the pink. That's so neat. And then if we come in here, we have our marvelous wallpaper that my boyfriend actually put up. I'm not even going to tell you guys the struggle to even put this up or the price because you're literally going to be like, it wasn't worth it. But um, it was kind of a good investment for us after we actually did get it up. Um, it's really nice. I feel like people like to, you know, look in the mirror and have this really nice background on them. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then in here we also keep this table because 
you know, our customers like to leave their stuff here while they try things on. We also have our signage for our Instagram. And it's just pretty simple in here. I mean, not too much. Everything that a dressing room would need. And then back here is kind of like our storage where we just keep literally anything. There's no real strategy to how things are put in here right now. So that's that. So back here, we have a huge rack with things that are not on the floor, things that are damaged. Um, so this kind of just stays back here. We do put our um, our pickup orders on this rack as well. So it just makes life a much simpler than being back here. We have our steamer that I got from Amazon. And this is kind of our rack of just cleaning supplies and just extra things that we would need. Um, here is just our bulletin board of all the important posts that you need when you have employees. Um, which is required by your state. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, so back here is kind of like our lunch break table. Um, we just, it's pretty simple. Like we keep a printer here because we print stuff. Um, we have a calendar where we haven't changed the date since May. <laughs> and we have water and microwave and things like that. And then our bathroom, which they don't really see, so we're not going to go into there. <laughs> but that's our bathroom. And, um, also, you have a downstairs, which I'm not going to show you guys right now because it's not really a part of the store. Well, that includes our boutique tour. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment box. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video, and we'll be back.